Right, so I'm here in Schoon, just up a local hill. Yeah, I'm going to try and photograph the moon set just now. It's going to be clear all day, so I'm going to try and get the moon set in the morning and then the moon rise in the afternoon. The weather's a bit dodgy just now, there's a few clouds, but I'm hoping that I can get a shot of the moon setting just through the clouds, pretty much. I've got this, the Sigma 150 to 600. One of my favourite lines, also known as the Moon Bazooka, because I'll just look at it. <laughs> it's huge. So I'll mount this on the Sony camera that you're watching this on and hopefully get some good moon shots and maybe a time lapse. So yeah, it's about half six just now, the moon's sitting about half seven. So hopefully the clouds part and I get to capture a good moon set. Let's see. Right, so I'm set up now. We've got the Sony A7S Sigma 150 to 600 and the moon set over there. There is a bit of cloud obviously right on the horizon about there. Um, so I'm just, I'll try and get a picture before the moon hits that cloud. The sun's come up as well over sort of that area. So I'm hoping to get a good shot. So the band of Venus has just came out where the moon's setting, which is pretty much just Earth's shadow at sunset or sunrise. And we're just wait, I'm just waiting for that moon to get down a wee bit closer to the horizon. There's a wee bit of mist and fog on the far hills as well. So that might make a nice image if there's some fog in the foreground as well. And how I've planned this shot is using this app, the photographer's emphasis. Uh, I'll pop how I use it on the screen. It's pretty much, it's like Google Earth, so you kind of place your location on the map, uh, pin drop it, you kind of zoom in to your location, you can see the world 3D, and then you put your time of date and stuff. And you can see what the direction of the moon rise, the moon sets, the sunset rises, sunsets, Milky Way, things like that. It's like the app photo pills that a lot of people use, but the photographers are, it's called the Photographer's Emphasis 3D. It's pretty much Google Maps but 3D. It d did cost 9.99, but I think it's it's 100% worth it. It's fantastic. So I know from this app it's going to set at about 20 past seven over I think it's Shahalian, which is right in the distance but it's under cloud as well. So this is the setup just now. I'm in portrait with my little cheap tripod to hope it holds. And look at that. I thought we weren't going to get a moon set because of the cloud, but it's kind of broken up. You can see a wee sneak preview. Look at that, that's Schoon. So that's Schoon, my wee home village. And then the, it's not a full moon, it's a 95% illuminated moon but pretty much looks full to me and to anyone else. And you can see that band of Venus. Belt of Venus, not band of Venus. I can't wait to see what the image, is, the image looks like when I put it on the laptop. Ooh, there, it's hard to do this actually. There, that's the moon there. There. And I think that is all clear now. There was a big bit of cloud there and I thought it was gonna start hugging the horizon as well and expanding. But luckily it broke up and I think I'm gonna get a good shot. And it's not Shahalian actually, it's not. Shahalian's away in, more in the distance. I don't know what this is, it's just another pointy mountain. So, lovely morning though. Look at that. Hey. I'm not really a huge fan of sunrises and sets, photography wise, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm just more of a night photographer, astrophotographer as they call it. Like this is nice, but I don't know, I don't, I don't get inspired at all to take pictures of the sunrises and sunsets. It just doesn't do it for me. But that moon is mm, coming out more and more of that cloud. So I'm gonna shut up and start taking pictures again. Let's see, there's, that's the ones over Perth, Erskine. So I'll see, I just want one really close up, but 
that's the problem, you just get clouds. It's, the further you go lower down on the horizon, the more cloud there seems to bloody be, because you're looking through more of Earth's atmosphere, so you've got more chance of seeing cloud. So I think that's gubbed it. But, hey ho, I think it's, it turned out pretty well. I'll turn that off and see if I'm a nice wee sunrise anyway. Just looks cool. So that was the morning done, and I only had to wait seven hours before I saw the moon again. For moonrise, I headed a few miles down the road to Black Hill, which is a very steep hill between Schoon and Dundee. The Black Hill is relatively easy to access, but there is only a few areas you can pull over with a car, so you have to be lucky to get space, and then from then it's just a 30 minute hike to the top, and you get 360 views over Tayside. So it's about six, seven hours later now. I'm going to get the moonrise. Um, just up another hill that's local to Schoon. It's between Schoon and Dundee, pretty much. It's very steep. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But I filmed some B-roll, and you'll be able to see how steep it was. It's probably about 45 degrees plus, like that. It's just ridiculous, and I've got a sore knee, so it's kind of I have to use my hiking pole just to get up here because it's so steep but I've given myself plenty of time. The moonrise is, isn't for another hour and a half. Um, so yeah, it's got, given me plenty of time to get up to the, the summit of the hill. It's a wee bit windy, so if you can hear a bit of wind in the microphone, I apologise, but I'm heading to a place which is east of this hill and the, we've got a strong westerly wind, so you always need to be protected by the wind just so the camera is pretty stable as well. So that's why I'm going to the other side of the hill so it'll be protected by the wind. So we've got another hour to get up the hill, so I'm going to head up now. But it's a beautiful sunny day, and you can see over there is where the sun is going to be, eh, the moon is going to be rising, and it's absolutely crystal clear. So fingers crossed that stays, but no photography, you never know what's going to happen. So I'll get to the location now and wait another hour and get set up. It's going to be a good one, I think. So I've just arrived at the location, it was about what a 30 minute wee hike, which was, wasn't too bad. The wind's still quite bad up here, but at least I've made it. I've still got about 40 minutes to spare, 40 minutes, half an hour to spare, so I'll just get kind of set up. Uh, the view I've got is over Dundee, I can see the two bridges in Dundee, the oil rigs, I can see over Angus and I can see the Perth, up to the Perthshire Highlands, they've still got wee bits of snow on them. So. I've got about half an hour just to get ready and I've got still like this from this morning the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter same equipment I'll just use that uh, and I'll mount that to the Sony a7s so the plan is for the photography I'll get the moonrise going over this hill in the distance it must be about 20 miles away and it's got loads of poles on the top of it like electric poles uh, telephone poles etc um, so it's just like an electric base and I'm going to try and get the moon rising above that. I've tried to get it many times but I've failed for numerous reasons, weather, wrong location etc. Um, so I looked at that app that I showed this morning, the photographer's emphasis, and the moon's going to be 
rising just behind that hill with all the pylons and stuff on it so hopefully it can line up perfectly and I'll get that shot the skies look like they're staying clear so I think we're in good luck for, t for this evening So we're seconds away now from moonrise and it's still quite, you know, light. There's a lot of, it's still blue skies, so it might just be a white moonrise. But it's just still pretty cool as long as I get a nice silhouette of the foreground. Oh, is that it just peeking above the horizon now? Right, I'm going to jump to the, the Sony because I think it's, it's seconds away just now, but I think it's just going to be a white moon. Yeah, right, here we go. So what's happened is I was right. It's a bit too bright. I'll try and... I don't know if we can get this. You can hardly see it on the camera. I've just came too early in the day. But yeah, it's too bright. Still nice to see, but... The sky is just far too bright, unfortunately. But I'll take loads of shots anyway, and I'll hopefully be able to bring out some detail in post-production. If I dehaze the image, I kind of failed that one. I'm happy with this morning anyway. At least I've got something today. So I've seen the moon set and moon rise within a few hours. Well, six, seven hours. In the same day, which is good. Ah, well. We lost that one, but hey ho. I'll try tomorrow, but I think the weather might not be the best. Oh. oh, so that's me off the hill now. It got pretty cold and pretty windy, hence I've put my other jacket on. Um, yeah, well, we'll see how the pictures turn out. I might have got, I might be able to salvage some of them by dehazing some of the pictures that might bring more detail. But I think the the sky was a bit too bright, unfortunately. It's still the moon, a full moon for tomorrow, so I might get a picture tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be for tomorrow, so we'll see. So I literally just was on my way home and I just saw the moon over this hill with trees and I just had to stop and take a picture and it's turned out really well. I'll show you it just now. So literally my car is just over there and I just was looking through this bush as I was driving past and I saw the moon just appearing over this hill. So I thought I'd stop and take some shots and it's turned out really well. I'll obviously put the final one on on screen later. But totally wasn't plan that like didn't plan this and I think this probably could be my the, my best shot from for the night. So always handy keeping an eye on the moon when you're doing moon photography because you know when you're going home or going whatever, you, it always changes position and sometimes you know the simplest things Hence, for this image, just a bunch of trees makes a good image. So I'm glad I stopped and got this shot. It's probably the best one of the day, actually. So I'm so happy I stopped there. So I'm happy now. I can finish this and I know I've got a shot. I came out and I got a shot, finally. It wasn't the shot that I actually thought I was going to get, but at least I got one. So I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Totally happy. And a nice sunset as well. You can see loads of sun rays over there. 
a nice sunset to end the day. I was so happy to have clear skies the next day. To be honest, these were the best conditions for a moonrise that I've seen for a very long time. After researching the direction of the moonrise, I realised that I could get an image that I have been after for years. At the summit of Comperney Hill in Angus, there is a tower and I have longed for the moon to line up with it. Until now. I used the app again to plan the shot, and luckily the best area for the shot was right beside a main road, so no hiking was involved, so I got into position 15 minutes early to set up. As you can see, the moon will rise up the side of the hill and surround the summit where the tower stands and hopefully cast a silhouette in front of the moon. I was absolutely buzzing at this point as I knew the time had come to get the shot that I've been after for so long. Everything lined up perfectly and the silhouette of the tower was in front of the moon. The moonrise was just perfect. So that was the tense few minutes over and everything went to plan. I'm very happy with the outcome and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll leave you with all the images and the time lapses. <laughs>